we are here in my backyard again because I have something that we're gonna unbox together. I have undone the tape and it's in a very tiny box. So let's open it. I love this day though. I just had to come outside and make this video outside for you guys because it's so beautiful out. The one bad thing is that it's getting cooler and all the butterflies have gone away within like the past week. All the butterflies are gone. I have a couple butterfly bushes in the other part of my yard that have tons and tons of butterflies all through the summer. They're gorgeous and I love watching them. And they're all gone. So it's officially no longer butterfly season. I've opened the little box and of course as usual it's packaged beautifully if you've never ordered from Burberry.com you should it's an experience that everyone should have nothing against Nordstrom's and other real retailers that also sell Burberry but I mean you don't do it as good as Burberry they're exquisite and the shipping on this superb I got it literally in a day and a half and I don't remember what I paid for shipping, but it wasn't, it was just shipping. It wasn't like I picked the special fast rate. <clears throat> Might even have been free. Anyway, so as usual, it's packaged with their tissue paper and their little sticker. I'm just going to zoom in on that because it's so perfect. And I can tell you exactly what I paid because as usual, the receipt comes in the most beautiful receipt holder you will ever see in your life. Yeah, I paid nothing for shipping and it got here in a day and a half. You can't beat free. Here it is, it's so tiny. Okay, I paid $21 for this. It's a Burberry nail polish. Let's just talk about the fact that it's a Burberry nail polish. They have not had nail polishes before. This is new, it's so exciting. So. I knew that the gnats were still around. I knew that they were going to be coming out with Burberry nail polishes in the spring. I did not know they would be available now. So as usual, I tend to go onto their website every now and then because sometimes they'll just put new stuff up there and it'll be a surprise and it'll be so exciting. So, so right now you can purchase, or at least you could when I ordered this, you could purchase a box that had several nail polishes. I think it was over $100 though and that was going to be some of more spring colors and things like that. Well I didn't want to get committed into it for over $100 if I didn't know anything about the formula and I don't know if I was going to like it. So I was kind of bummed about that but then I was looking around more on their website and they have three individuals that you can purchase right now. There's a red, there's a, it's either black or a slate gray. And then there was this one, which is the color stone number 104. So as you can see, it's stone number 104. Burberry packaging. It's just so perfect. <laughs> Let's open it. This is the most adorable thing. <laughs> it's like a combination between the illuminator which is obviously much larger and a little lipstick because it's probably about the size of one of their lipsticks actually let's see how much comes in here eight milliliters I mean this is so cute so the cap is removable and this is what it looks like. Yeah, we're gonna try it. We're gonna try it on camera. Hmm. Interesting brush. This is what the brush looks like. So I'm just gonna, you know, paint a nail. Normally I do not paint my fingernails because 
the type of work I do. It just doesn't last. It never looks good. And I feel like I have like chunky little hands, so I mean, it never looks good. But that's part of the reason why I picked this color was because I've been looking for a light color that I feel would work on my hands better than actual color, you know? I don't want to emphasize my nails too much. <laughs> Basically what I'm telling you. And it actually evens out pretty nicely. Doesn't look terribly streaky. I mean, it looks streaky at first. But then it seems to have like a self-leveling. Which is pretty nice. Ooh, yeah, don't go back and try to touch it up before it dries because that's when it starts to look not as nice. I'm thinking with a second coat it would be just about perfect. Right now it's okay. Like I said, it does seem to level out pretty well and it's not very patchy, but in places where you go back and you try to add more before it's completely dry, don't do that because it starts, that's when it starts to look kind of crummy. Did I tell you how much this was? It was $21. I think I would not invest in their whole line of nail polishes because I'm not a polish fiend, but I do love Burberry. While I can't give you how great of a wear time this is yet, I'll update you later about it and definitely let you know. So far I am liking it and it's pretty much dry already. So I'm just going to wait a few more minutes and do a second coat and then I'll show it to you. I'm going to do a second coat now because I think this is definitely dry. Oh yeah, second coat should be all you need. I actually thought it was a thin consistency, but I'm thinking it might be... I mean, this second coat is going on pretty thickly, which helps it in its leveling process. <laughs> I have something else coming up that I need to show you. I was going to do that video today, but then this came in the mail and this just jumped it off. It's another Burberry item. Should I tell you? I should tell you. It's the Fresh Glow Powder. I've had the Fresh Glow Liquid for a long time. Love it. Very natural. Slightly comparable to the Kogan Doe Illuminator that I'm trying. Slightly comparable, but more... I don't want to say more of a shine, but I do want to say more of a shine. I think that this is just so natural and blends right into your skin that it's perfect. But that one does have a slight more shine. They're very comparable. Anyway, I've had that for a long time, so I decided to pick up the powder. And I'm not sure I'm in love with it yet. So I'll be making a video of that soon. So keep your eye out for that. Okay. Second coat done. Let's zoom in. So, as you can see, my nails are impossibly short and stumpy. <laughs> but, I do think this is a very natural color. It has a nice shine to it. You probably wouldn't need a top coat, except for top coats generally are more protective. So I'll probably apply one when I go back inside. But, so far, I am liking this first impression it's great I do like the color a lot of course I love the packaging because this is the most adorable thing ever so I hope you are having a great day comment down below tell me if you're gonna try any of the nail polishes and I'll talk to you later